This Jupyter Notebook script that I have here is like a very simple one where I'm importing pandas and then reading a CSV file in and just displaying the first few lines of it. Um, if we were doing this on our local computer, it would be fairly straightforward. All we would need to do would be put the path of the CSV file in this expression here um, and we'd be good to go. However, if we're using Colab, Colab, we have to keep in mind that the Colab server is running somewhere out in the cloud. We really don't even have any idea where that is, and there's not really any way to find out. So it's not possible for this script to be um, reading files that are on our local computer because it's not running on our local computer. So what we need to do is actually connect this to a folder on our Google Drive, then we are able to put files in the Google Drive folder and open them up in Colab. So the first step that I'm gonna do here is to go to my Google Drive and I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm just gonna call it data. Okay, so here's my new folder called data. And then in this, uh, I'm going to uh, upload a file. And the file that I'm going to upload is just a simple CSV file that has some information about people in it. All right, so it's uploaded the file. We're ready to go on to the next step. So if I go back to my Colab notebook, notice that over on the left side, there's a little file folder icon. I'm gonna click on this and um, it is uh, after a moment of sort of refreshing the screen here, I can see that I have an option to mount a Google Drive. Right now, um, this Colab notebook doesn't have any idea where my Google Drive is, but if I click on the um, mount drive button, then I essentially have to go through an authentication process that authorizes Colab to connect to my Google Drive. So I will go ahead and say connect to Google Drive. It opens an OAuth authorization window here and I'm going to, I'm connecting this one to my Gmail account. And so after just a moment, I see that a new drive has shown up here, labeled drive. If I expand this out, I see that this mapped drive is actually referencing my Google Drive. And if I open that up, I can see the same two folders here that I had in my Google Drive, the uh, Colab notebooks folder and the data folder. So I'm definitely in the right place. I'm, and if I expand out the data folder, Here's the file that I want to open. Now, <clears throat> the, uh, in order to get the correct path to put in this path expression, I can right click on the file that I want to load and select copy path. And then I can just go in here and say, uh, paste in the path. So we can see that the, um, the path expression that's here represents the file structure here um, from drive on down. So the first one, which is content, is sort of the highest level, but from there on we see drive, and then my drive, and then data, and then the file itself. So if we, had to, if we wanted to read from a number of files, we could just set the string to be the, the actual path to the data folder, and then we could um, have the user input the value of this file, or, uh, the name of the file, or we could just uh, add that by concatenating it to the path string. So now if I go ahead and, uh, and run the script, so import pandas, then um, set the path and have it read the file. Now if I do the head command, it's reading the file in from the Google Drive. And then it should uh, shortly give me a view of the first part of the file.
there it is.